Nevertheless, there was significant news that was released yesterday in the political realm, and it is certain to shake up the Republicans. Another defeat in an election that took place outside of the year. To put it another way, the Republicans cannot seem to stop losing. This continues to be a problem for them. This is something that continues to occur in this age of Trump. It is highly likely that you will be unsuccessful in a special election if you are running for office in this day and age of Trump. The Democrats are just a little bit over. That is to say, Donald Trump has transformed the Democratic Party into the Kansas City Chiefs of Special Elections of the United States. Each and every time there is a response, and there was one once again last night. Once again, Republicans ought to have been victorious in the district. Exactly the same. Within a township. A district that George Santos won in 2022 and that Donald Trump recently won in 2020, and now it is back in the hands of the Democrats. They are celebrating this morning after former Congressman Tom Swayze won a special election in New York's 3rd District. Swayze's victory over Nassau County lawmaker Mazzy Pillip turns that seat from red to blue, bringing the Republicans' razor-thin majority in the House of Representatives even closer to a majority. The disgraced former Congressman George Santos, who was removed from his position in Congress the previous year, has been replaced by Swazi. In light of the fact that Swazi acknowledged the national ramifications of his victory in New York yesterday night, the contest is considered to be a bellwether for the month of November. This campaign was fought in the midst of an electorate that was extremely split. Need to, like the entirety of our nation, in a manner that is similar to the problems that are prevalent throughout our nation, this race was concentrated on immigration and the economy. This race was won by us. This race was won by you and me. Due to the fact that we addressed the problems and discovered a method to bring together our differences. Long Island and Queens residents, on the other hand, are sick and tired of the political fighting that has been going on. They are done with it. In order to find solutions to issues, they urge us to work together. At this point, it is necessary for us to convey the message of this campaign to the Congress of the United States of America as well as to the rest of the nation. It is time for us to communicate with our friends who are currently in charge of the Congress. If you want to take control of the country, you should stop running around for Trump. The moment has come to locate areas of agreement and to begin catering to the needs of the people who live in the United States of America. Immediately following Swazi's victory in New York City last night, the Biden campaign, Donald Trump suffered another defeat tonight, as he stated in a statement. Whenever Republicans run on Trump's extreme platform, even for a seat that is held by Republicans, voters cast their ballots against them. As a result of their behavior in derailing a bipartisan agreement to secure our borders and to improve our broken immigration system, President Trump and the MAGA radicals in the House are already paying the electoral price for their actions. Additionally, Nikki Haley's campaign responded to the Democratic triumph in New York last night by writing, let's just say the quiet part out loud. Donald Trump continues to be a significant obstacle for anyone running for the Republican nomination. A new generation of conservative leadership that does not alienate the American people will continue to be lost time until Republicans wake up. This will continue to be the case until Republicans wake up. Quote, till end. As you could expect, Donald Trump pointed the finger of blame at all parties other from himself for the defeat. He referred to Philip, the Republican candidate, as a, quote, very foolish woman, and he stated that his fans of the MAGA movement remained at home yesterday. I predicted that Trump would win in 2020. In the year 2020, I meant Joe Biden that he won by eight points. As a result, Santos, a Republican, will win the election by eight points in 2022. And at this moment, it appears like the Democrat Tom Swazi, who is a well-known figure in that region and a person that people have faith in, will win by approximately eight points. The topics that he leaned into and declared, yes, we do have a crisis, were immigration issues. There is no question that we need to take action on the border, and we should also be addressing the issue of abortion. I'd want to bring to your attention the topic that we have been discussing on a daily basis over the past week or two, which is something that has real-world ramifications. And that is the fact that there was a resolution to the southern border that would have prevented illegal immigration from migrating across the southern border, that would have prevented fentanyl, which is murdering American children, from migrating across the American border.
and that would have prevented crime along the American border. And now, in New York City, we are hearing that all of this could have been prevented by a deal that was proposed by James Langford, a Republican. Trump, however, advised the Republicans not to carry out the action. Furthermore, as a result of Donald Trump, there will be anarchy at the border for the duration of the following year. It was a factor that played a role in this race. Prior to the occurrence of that event, Tom Swayze had been on the defense about the topic of immigration. Moreover, when that occurred, when Donald Trump vetoed the law, the reporters who were present at the time stated that the entire matter was turned upside down. On the matter of immigration, Swayze took a strong stance and he emerged victorious. Please pause for a moment, everyone. Take note of what I have just spoken. On the subject of immigration, a Democrat emerged victorious. I was so astonished when I was there, and I am even more surprised now that there are politicians who believe they can do whatever they want in Congress and that it won't come up to them. There, they were usually taken aback since it always managed to catch up with them. A further thing that continues to amaze me is the fact that these MAGA supporting extremist Republicans and the Speaker of the House are so naive as to believe that it is possible to openly declare that we are going to let fentanyl to cross our border for the next year. The reason that we are going to let illegal aliens to cross our border for the next year is because Donald Trump has taken the position that we are going to do it and blame him, as well as having ramifications in the real world. Again, Republicans are defeated. Last night, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023 were all mentioned. The fact that they are losing is not just down to the fact that the stars are aligned against them. They are suffering defeat as a result of Trump inflicting one wound after another on themselves. Willie, this is only the most recent chapter and verse included in that chapter. Also, voters are very astute. They are able to see through foolishness. I am referring to the fact that Pellup, the Republican candidate in this race, was against that bill and stated that we need to take action on immigration. It is imperative that we take action at the border, and Tom Swayze has stated that he is in favor of the plan that was recently presented to us, which is a bill that is supported by both parties and is led by a conservative Republican. Oh, and just so you know, we'll be discussing this topic in a moment. Despite the fact that they claim they want something to be done on the border, Republicans in the House continue to follow this course of action without providing support for foreign aid. This course of action was only recently completed in the Senate, 